Happy Halloween. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah. Uh, hello, everybody, and welcome to a special Halloween episode of Modded Minecraft with Red. So, anyway, guys, uh, last episode, as we remember, we just finished making our wand focus of warding, and we need to put that to use. Well, Let's go ahead and get started on that right now. As you can see out here, I kind of started building the framework. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to just go ahead and fill this in with our builder's wand. And make a complete room out of this. So, we will go something like that. And then we're going to go all the way around the edges here. And we're going to build this up about, oh, I don't know five or so blocks high. Uh, that seems like a decent number. So we will just make sure we go all the way around the edges here. And this is at the very edge of the uh, area that we have chunk loaded already. So we shouldn't have to worry about, you know, adding more chunk loaders. So there's three, four, and five. Actually, let's go up one more. There's six. And we come down here. And all the way up. And over here. We will definitely be working on getting ourselves a little bit better wand. Uh, you know, this one has been working great. But it will only lay like nine blocks at a time, if I remember correctly. Which, as you can see, is a little bit of a pain in the rear, especially when you have large areas like this that you want to completely enclose. So now, if we go and get more cobblestone, holy cow, we went through those uh, several stacks fast, quick, and in a hurry. And again, we don't have to travel far because it's all right in here. There we go. And that hole there is fine for the moment. Go ahead and turn off our chunk area. Just fill this all the way across. There we go. We'll add just a little bit of light up here just so we don't have, you know, random mobs spawning on top of our room out here. There we go. And now down here. We're going to get rid of our edge markers. There we go. And I think where I want the door is I want the door to be somewhere like right over here. So that will need to get filled in right there. There we go. We're also going to come in here for the time being. And just uh, place some torches around. Again, just so that we don't have any mobs you know, randomly spawning in here, causing, you know, us to have issues. So that'll work. Now if we come back out here, we can go ahead and try to make a little entryway. And we'll make it about three blocks wide. There we go. And again, if we come out here and add like so, and we can just kind of come right around the corner here. That should actually be good right there. So we're actually going to add one more row on the outside. And there we go. Well, Wrong wand. Do I wanted to grab a wand? Just that suddenly grabbed the wrong one. And let's go ahead and go up one more. That sounds like a good idea. And then we can just come across here and completely close this in. There we go. And again, a couple of torches just so that we don't have mobs spawning in here. 
and then the last few make a little step up in. Perfect. You might be asking yourself, well, Red, why are you making a big cobble room? Well, it's not going to be cobble for very long. Uh, we were just using the cobblestone to mark out what we wanted. I'm thinking what we will make this out of is something dark. Uh, what do we have that's dark? Well, let's take a look. We look at our chisel mod. Uh, you know, we could always make it out of, um, you know, black cobblestone. And we got this purple that's definitely interesting. Got some void stone, some obsidian. I mean, we want it to look good, but it's not imperative. Uh, even though, you know, it is on the outside. So that might be worth something to think about. Uh, you know, we could also make it out of... Yeah, while we do that, while we made some uh, factory blocks here, that might be kind of cool. And there was actually another one that I was looking at as well. Yeah, something like this down here, like lava stone. That might that might look kind of cool. So while we go ahead and uh, you know make a couple of these and take a look here, so we're going to need a bucket of lava. That's not an issue. Just come right over here and. Grab a bucket of lava, put that there, come up here and grab some stone. There we go, there's our lava stone, we can put the bucket away for now. Let's also grab some sticks. And some planks. Make several of those. And I apologize for the background noise. If you can hear that, guys, I'll try and uh, wash it out in uh, post. Uh, we, we've got some uh, moving going on in uh, the building I'm in. So it's uh, kind of loud. And we're going to need some stone. And let's just grab all of those. And what was the other one we were looking at? Well, let's just see what these look like real quick. And we're going to need our exchanger. Where did we put that? Is it in here charging? It is in here charging. Excellent. So let's... Go ahead and just grab our hammer, because that's going to be the easiest way. We'll just hammer out that uh, three by three. And of course, you know, this only gave us eight, but we can get a strong feel for what it's going to look like. So there we go. And grab our chisel. Well, that looks pretty interesting. Got the creeper. We've got just the empty blocks. Well, that's kind of cool. Well, I do like all of those. Unfortunately, uh, with the lag issues that we are currently having on the server, uh, I, I wish that was not flowing behind there because that's that's 
more and more things that the game has to render and that makes it want to lag even more so what if we make some sort of building out of these warning signs That's pretty cool. Falling objects, danger of falling, high voltage, generic warning, dangerous chemicals under construction. <laughs> Loud sounds, well, yeah, no entry. Cryogenic freezing in process, oxygen required. You know, why don't we uh, teach the system how to make those? And we could just make it out of explosion signs that might be kind of cool so we will just come in here and first things first we need to taste the system automate signs there we go easy peasy grab some signs teach you how to make the warning signs there we go now we can just throw these right over here into our Cycli uh, not cyclic assemblers, wow. Our assembly, molecular assemblers, there we go. And now we can go ahead and order some up. So warning, there we go. Let's get about, uh, I don't know, say 200 of them or so. And that shouldn't take very long to craft. Again, uh, none of our molecular assemblers down there are upgraded uh, with any speed upgrades or anything so you know that's still rather impressive that they craft that fast without any upgrades so we're just going to go ahead and you know what let's just change all of these over and we want the loud sounds. We will shift right click. Uh, okay, not the loud sounds. Explosion. There we go. Get with it, Red. Pick the right one. There, and now we can just go ahead and Come along here and exchange all of these out. Looks like we're going to need a lot more than 200. But that's okay. Because we can definitely make more. Oh, one short. Really? Can we just change out a few of these? No, yep, we're going to change out the entire bottom. Of course we are. All right, well, let's go uh, make up, oh, I don't know, about another 200 of them. Again, we don't want to make an abundance of them, but we want to make sure that we have enough to go all the way around. And even at that, we can go through and we can change some of these so that, you know, they uh, they say something different than just, uh, you know, the explosion signs everywhere. Get our exchanger back out. We can come up here and just go right across the roof. There we go. Get the back wall. Get the side wall. It looks like we're still going to be just a couple short, aren't we? Uh, maybe not. Yeah, we are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. About nine short. Uh, 10, 11, 12, 13 ish short. So let's see here. Let's make. Uh, a half stack of them. That should be enough to finish off what we're doing. 
Again, we don't want to make an abundance of them, but at the same time, you know, we want to have everything done. So we can just go right in there, and that should get most of that. Wow. Red's math is completely off today. Let's make some more. Make another half stack. And we're having a headache. Apparently we didn't grab them out of the system. It always helps if you grab stuff out of the system that, uh, you know, you want to use. And there we go. We can do something like that. And like that. And like, up. Oh, okay. You'd already grabbed that one. Hmm. Well, let's see here. Go ahead and shrink our radius down a little bit. So that we are not undoing what we've already done. We'll check the outside here. Everything looks good there. And There we go. We'll just do it like that. And here can be toggled. That's fine. It's not going to make too much of a difference. So out here, let's uh, work on changing these. Uh, yeah, how about some skull, skulls and crossbones? Yeah, I think that'll look pretty cool. And then we can always change this up to column mode. And let's go ahead and... There we go. This is very, very Halloween type theme going on here. There we go. Now we can change this back to panel. Loud sounds. There we go. There we go. And that just kind of breaks it up a little bit. You know. So that we can see. And we know that hey. You know. There, there's, there's stuff going on in here. We'll switch this over to single. And let's go ahead and make this one. Yeah, something like that. So there we go. We've got an entryway. You know, it's all nice and neat. And, you know, we've got warnings all over the place. Now... Let's use what we made last time. If we hold our F key, we can grab our wand focus of warding. And, you know, before we do that, there's something else that I want to check on. Because the wand focus of warding, as we saw, uh, you know, it works great. But we have this thing as well, this photal manipulator. Let's see what it takes to make that real quick. It actually doesn't take much. Some arcane stone slabs, some arcane stone blocks. So let's grab some of those. And we're actually going to need a little bit of experience. So luckily we've been saving up our experience. Let's pull all of it out. 
And we will go back down to our Thaumcraft area. And wait for things to load. As you can see, you know, the uh, taint is being somewhat kept in check. But, you know, it is what it is. We still need to figure out what we're going to do with all those dang slimes. Uh, like I said, I do have an idea for that. It will most likely be coming sooner rather than later. Alrighty, the photo manipulator. Uh, well, we need a primal charm. That's easy enough to get. There we go. And we're going to need some arcane stone slabs, which is stone bricks. Hey, we got some of those laying around. That's a bonus. And we're going to need a table. Can we make one of those? We sure can. Now that stuff gets pulled out because we don't need it sitting in there. And the table, the primal charm, and there's the photo manipulator. Let's grab ourselves a relay if we have one. Oh, cool. We've got one. And let's set up our photo manipulator. Now, the photo manipulator is actually a really, really cool device. Uh, you know, and actually we can set that like right here. And what that allows us to do is if we uh, grab our wand and shift F to remove a focus. Let's open up our wand pouch here and we grab our wand focus warding. We're going to take this uh, V relay, just set it right on top, like so, and that should make a connection. Which I'm not exactly sure why we are not seeing the V connections. Because all should be well and good. I wonder why this is. It's forced, forcing me to uh, replace all of my V relays. That is really weird. There we go. We'll grab that one as well. Okay, fine. If it wants to connect that way, let it connect that way. And let's see if uh, this got charged. Yeah, that got recharged. It's really weird. Alrighty, slimes. That's it. I'm tired of you squish, squish, squishing around over here. Die. 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 All of you. All of you must go. Flare and sail. Everything must go. Come on. Took out our uh, torch. That's fine. We'll replace it here in a moment. Oh my lord. Look at all these slimes. Yeah. You gotta go too. Sorry. Party's over. Party's over. You don't have to go home, but you can't stay here. Ah, sheesh. All right, well, put a torch back there. We got to put another torch over here. Finally. No more squishing. All right. So, back to what I was saying. Uh, you know, we, we've got everything set up now. We put our wand focus in there, and we can actually upgrade our focus now. Uh, so this is uh, Frugal, which upgrades, this upgrade reduces the V cost. So yeah, let's go ahead and do that. And it's going to cost us eight experience. All right, not a problem, we can do that. And that's fairly simple, boom. Architect, this upgrade gives a lot more control over the area of effect. Yes, that's exactly what we are looking for. 
because right now, as we saw, it will only do one block at a time. Well, with this architect upgrade, it will allow us to do multiple blocks at a time. So let's go ahead and grab that and wait just a few moments here. Remember, you know, we're only getting centivies, so it takes a little bit longer uh, for it to transfer if we don't have a, a large number. Uh, yep, we're going to want the enlarge. That will allow us to make the area larger. And that's all the experience we have for now. Uh, yeah, we need 32 levels for the next upgrade, but you know what? That should be uh, good for now. So let's go ahead and go back upstairs. We can dump off these slime balls. Probably won't need all of this cobble, so we can put most of that away. We can put those away. Let's uh, come over here and throw those slime plant seeds in there. Our wand. Hold F, and there's our one foot. Now you can see we have this little arrow system right in the middle of the area that we want to ward. So we could do that, but if you look, it goes down, it goes up, it goes back, it goes all over the place. Well, if we hold, if we hit Shift G, that will change the radius in which we work in. Well, we want to go up and down. We want to change that. And then if we hit just G, we can change it. So there's just a simple flat panel. There's, whoops, there's two, three, four, five, and that's it. So we can do a five by five by five area. So that's really cool. See, one, two, oh, that's three. Sorry, that's uh, five, seven, nine. So yeah, we can actually do a nine by nine by nine area. Again, uh, math is uh, not working with me today for some reason. So let's go ahead and come up here and we can go ahead and come say right here into the center. And if we hit it, boom. We are now warding the entire box up here. And so we go through there, there, and we can come down here to the sides. And yeah, granted that it, this is going to take away uh, our torches that we place down, but that's fine because warded blocks are much like the anti-block that we place down uh, all over the place. And it does not allow mobs to spawn on it. So that's a bonus. And we're going to need some more V in our wand, because it does take up quite a bit of V when you are doing this. So let's go ahead and we will pull that out Put our wand in there. Let this charge up real quick. Shouldn't take too long because of uh, you know how it uh, how, how large of a node that we have. Of course, we got a thunderstorm coming in the back. So, but again, we're not too worried about that thunderstorm either. So while this charges up. Let's go ahead and do something else. Because it is Halloween, we have to have some sort of decor decorations. So, why don't we grab about the only thing that we have. Let's grab some pumpkins. Let's grab, I don't know, four of them. Yeah, that sounds good. And we can, you know, go ahead and we can use the chisel on them if we want. Or we can even come in here and... Honestly, I haven't done this before. Let's, uh... I think 
this is the recipe? Yeah. Look at that. Jack lanterns. You just take a pumpkin, add a torch, and now we have jack lanterns. So there we go. We can go ahead and place one, say, right here or not. There we go. We can place one there, place one there. We place a couple up here. Yeah. Hey, there we go. Well, that definitely says Halloween. Can we change this? No, we cannot. Once they are turned into jack-o'-lanterns, they remain jack-o'-lanterns. That's fine. Um, we will go ahead and let's grab a couple more. Let's say uh, two or three more. Let's just grab a couple. Now we can come back out here and now let's say we place one right there. And let's see what we can do with it. Really? Well, that's definitely interesting. So let's pick him back up. That is really interesting. It won't let you change it once you place it. Meh. Okay. I didn't like that one. Eh. Don't like that one. What is it with all these goofy ones? There we go. Alright, uh, let's try 1304, 1305. Nope. Well, this really stinks that, uh, you know, you can't just hit them like you can the normal blocks. Uh, six and seven are a bust. There's eight and nine. Eight, nine. Well, that one's not too bad. Ten, no. Eleven. The hatch is eleven. Um, nope. What about twelve? Nah. Thirteen? No. Fourteen. No. Ashley, fifteen? Nope. So let's like, uh, what was it? 10? Oh, it was 9. There we go. And we got a storm brewing over there. Don't know what it's turning into. But luckily, we don't have to worry about it. So let's go ahead and place these guys right up there. Just like that. Yeah. That looks cool. Let's come down here and see what we got. Yep, we got a cyclone moving in on us. Well, our uh, weather deflector will take care of that. Let's come check on our wand to make sure it's recharged. Oh, yeah. Fully recharged. Awesome. Let's head back upstairs. To finish our room. Yeah, there goes the sirens. 
We will right, wait right here for a moment for it to clear out. There it goes. Just like that. Nothing to worry about it. Love it. So we check and see what we have to finish up here. So let's ward that and that. Got a couple of blocks right here. So we will ward those and those. And all of those should be warded. Yep. You just kind of give everything the once over, make sure that it looks good from the outside. And it pretty much does look good from the outside. So let's come in here and we're going to ward the entire floor in here as well. There we go. Now everything is warded. Now you might be asking yourselves or asking me or asking yourselves, Red, why? This doesn't make sense. Well, I will show you why. Let's see if we can uh, change this though. Get this down to a single block. Can we ward our pumpkins? We can. Oh, now that's cool. I wasn't sure if we were going to be able to ward the pumpkins or not. So there we go. Now we have nothing to worry about. The pumpkins will stay there. You know, can't get rid of them. Cool. I love it when a plan comes together. Because now, if we come in here, we can now grab three of our wither stalls, four of our soul sand. Let's go ahead and we can jump back downstairs real quick. We will swap out our armor. That's the last thing we want to do is go in, uh, you know, underprepared. And now if we come out here, we have made ourselves a wither proof room. Just add that like that. We kind of clear the area. Because he still has an explosion radius. That will still do us damage, but look. The room completely intact. He did absolutely no damage to the room that we just built. Very Halloween themed. Yeah, he's getting irritated because he can't do anything. We can just come in here. We can beat the absolute living crap out of him. And there we go. Get all of the nether cubes, nether stars that we want and or need. Uh, all of the Zavikio essence and everything else that comes with spawning the wither. So there we go, guys. That is a completed build. We now have a weather spawning... Uh, weather. Wow. Wither spawning room that is indestructible uh, by the wither. And we can spawn several withers at one point in time. And it, it doesn't matter. Uh, they will not harm this room whatsoever. Later on, we may end up moving this room uh, somewhere you know, else besides right out our, our front door here. But for now, this will definitely work. Uh, we definitely have ways to automate this in the near future. So you guys will want to definitely stick around for that. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoyed that build. Again, happy Halloween. Uh, make sure that you guys stay safe out there today. Uh, you know, if you are going out with your kids trick-or-treating or if you are going out trick-or-treating yourself, please, you know, make sure that you are safe out there and, you know, check everything when you get it uh, or after you get back home to make sure that nobody has done anything stupid or idiotic uh, with, with your sweet treats. And as always, guys, I hope you have a great day. 
Happy Halloween again, and I will definitely talk to you in the next video. See ya.